we cannot stop learning. I think that's a key part because there's always new things coming up. The AI technology itself is progressing. There's new AI, AI tools, AI technology coming up. So we as a human in the society, we need to embrace it. The dimensionality of human emotion is rather complicated. So as any AI models, we need to define some sort of solution space, and then we can looking for optimize, you know, in that kind of solution space. But let's say for human emotions, try to find a meaningful dimensions to describe emotions, even that part is, I think, still ongoing research. So without defining the space completely, our description, our modeling of emotion still is partial. We're not going to fully model the emotion space. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is that's also to do with the granularity, right? Because human emotion, sensing, understanding is very subtle. And if our understanding is only at a very kind of high level without sufficient granularity, this also impacts interaction between people to people. The important problem we, we, I think we should be spending more time in developing is that, uh, let's say you have a virtual you know, avatar, be, a, be able to interact with people, answer questions, so on and so forth. But at some point, at some point, there's always going to be some moment the avatar is not very sure about the, what's going on, not sure how to, how to handle it. So that to me is so-called the technical boundary of any technology, right? Any technology is not going to be perfect. It cannot handle 100% of the situations, but there's always a boundary. So I think it's important for AI system to be able to aware where the boundary is. If you can aware where the boundary is, then maybe at that moment, the real person can jump in to, to save the day. If the AI model don't know where the boundary is, trying to hallucinate information, it's only going to create a negative user experience. That's, that's, that's not good for, for, for business. So therefore, that boundary is rather important. It's the same thing if I want to make an analogy for automatic driving systems. Why sometimes automatic driving systems make accidents? on the street because it doesn't know there's, there's an object in front of it, it's just running over it, and it causes accident. So any AI model has a problem of don't know when the system will fail. If it knows when it will fail, we will be much better word. But we also need to learn what AI is doing, which have to understand what's doing, know what's, uh, how, it, how it's doing, and try to work with it. So knowing the boundary is important because this is the kind of how we save the day and make sure that for the small percentage of the customer, they can still be happy if we can have human to actually understand.